All right, it's time for our gaming and gadget segment. Tech expert Mark Saltzman uh, is here to discuss this week's top tech news, and you know what that involves, the Apple iPhone 4S. Everybody wants to get their hands on it, and you already do. I bet you had it before it was even available in the stores because that's how you roll. <laughs> All right, so what do you like about it? <laughs> yeah, well, we all know, I think, uh, if you've been reading the news, it's got a dual-core processor, so it's much faster, mm -hmm. has a better wireless radio uh, technology, so fewer drop calls and faster downloads, a better camera. But by far, the killer app, the feature that everybody is buzzing about is yeah. Siri, S-I-R-I. Yeah. This is best described as a personal assistant that's uh, voice-based. So you can ask a question. I'd love to give you a couple of demos here. Yeah. And you will get a human-like response back. You're going to love this, Frederica. Check okay. this out. Message Kelly Saltzman. I'm going to be late for dinner. See you soon. So she's going to tell, open up a message to my wife. Here's Listen. your message to Kelly Saltzman. And it shows what I said, it transcribed it. Oh so it God. showed what I said, transcribed it into text, and then you can verbally. Okay. Ver I won't send it. <laughs> She's saying, okay, I won't send it. Oh. She's verbally con confirming that uh, you can verbally com uh, confirm to send it or not. So it's very powerful. You can say, find me an Indian restaurant in Miami. So it goes online, talks to the Yelp I service. Found a number of Indian restaurants. Oh, my Indian goodness. In Miami, Florida, US. You so then you can tap kidding. on the one that has the highest rating. And let's have a little bit of fun with Siri. What's the meaning of life? <laughs> Life, the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity. Okay, so sometimes she gives you a oh cheeky answer, mm -hmm. like it's a movie, you know, <laughs> or in this case, she gave me a literal description. And by on that note, by the way, you can ask a dictionary, uh, uh, you know, what does a word mean? Mm -hmm. And it'll uh, show the dif de dictionary definition. So very powerful. Oh Siri can really change how we interact with smartphones and really makes the iPhone for us shine. Yeah, awesome. clearly it's, it's also going to change the way we interact with one another. And this is super great. I can see so many situations where your just hands are just not available, driving, holding a baby, all that right. good stuff. And this is going to come in handy. Wow. Okay. Sure. Let's talk about something else, another feature called um, the iMessage. Uh, what, what's that all about? Is this new? Sure. So that debuted on Wednesday for okay. all iPhone and iPod Touch and iPad users. Uh, the iOS 5 download from Apple is a free update that adds 200 new features to the platform. iMessage it can best be described as a BlackBerry Messenger-like program, or BBM, where it lets people chat for free with text or with, uh, you know, can send files and, and broadcast a group message all for free and quickly between uh, users of iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. It, it is actually a little bit more appealing than BBM because if you give, say, a, a tween or a young teenager a, an iPod Touch, it's not a phone, but with a chatting application that works over Wi-Fi, it kind of feels like it's their own cell phone. So it's iMessage. It works very similar to BBM, and it's, uh, it's getting a lot of great reviews this week. All right, that other handheld device slash smartphone, et cetera, that people have been, you know, they just can't separate themselves from, BlackBerry. But, boy, did it have big problems with that major outage that meant millions of people were disconnected. What happened there? And uh, how is that making sort of the investors of RIM, the, the company that owns BlackBerry, feel? Yeah. Fortunately, things are back on track for the company, but by far it was their longest and most widespread service outage. It began on Monday with problems in the Middle East and Africa and Europe with a uh, server that went down in the UK. And then there was a domino effect with mm -hmm. their servers in uh, Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, causing a shortage in North America and mm -hmm. parts of uh, South America. So yeah, it was not a good week uh, mm -hmm. for Research in Motion. They vowed to turn things around. They have. Uh, three days later. And interestingly, their stock is pretty much unaffected. It's uh, closed on Friday at about $24 a share, mm -hmm. so, similar to what it was before uh, the week. But <laughs> let's face it, a far cry from $140 or whatever it was back in 2008. Mm -hmm. So um, the company is, you know, it's, there's rumors of buyouts as per usual. But at this point, it seems that their stock is pretty unaffected despite all their uh, PR problems this week. Wow. Well, lucky them um, following a streak of a lot of bad luck. All right. Thanks so mm -hmm. much. Mark Saltzman, appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, Frederica. And, of course, for more high-tech ideas and reviews, just go to CNN.com slash tech and look for the Gaming and Gadgets tab.